got favorites though, huh? Who, who your favorite? Good hit Tank. Uh, all y'all, I got, I, I got <laughs> Tank over all y'all, bro. All right, that's that's the thing. Knock all y'all out, bro. Ain't, 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 ain't nobody knocking me off. I think Shakur is winning. Like, I think Shakur got better skill, and of course, he's just better defensively. Like, I'm always going with the better skill, the better defensive fighter. Um, Tank skill is phenomenal. Just recently, Tank and Shocker found themselves in the same live session, which turned out to be a battle of verbal jabs, which has been a usual thing between these two. The fight at 135 yet? Right. He didn't. He, he didn't even have power at 126, 30, or none of that. He is good. Okay. He, he just jumped back. You never see him slip no punch. You never, mm. you never see him slip no punch. Mm. Go look at it. You see him back up from a lot of people. Back yeah. up, move around, move around. Now in the fiercely competitive world of our favorite sport, verbal sparring can be as intense as the physical bouts in the ring. This was on full display during a recent live interaction between Shocker Stevenson and Devon Davis, where both fighters exchanged heated words and harsh criticisms, each trying to assert their dominance and superiority. The conversation was a blend of confidence bravado and pointed jabs, highlighting the intense rivalry that exists between these two fighters. I like the young fella. He's feeling himself. Whoa! The dialogue began with Stevenson acknowledging the opinion of a mutual Yule acquaintance who favored Devon Davis over other fighters, including himself. This set the stage for the fiery exchange that followed. Stevenson never want to back down, accepted the preference, but quickly asserted his own resilience, promising to knock out Tank when they meet in the ring. Uh, 35? 35, 40, I don't know. I could see it happening uh, not too not too far in the future. Really? Yeah. I think Tank will sign that contract. Davis, known for his formidable punching power and unbeaten record, was quick to respond, that guy's dead, he said dismissively, indicating that he did not believe anyone, including Stevenson, could withstand his power in the ring. Uh, ain't nobody knocking me out. Ain't nobody that that dead. But that's a solid, that's a, that's a solid pick. Though this exchange of words was just the beginning of a conversation that would delve deep into their respective abilities, past performances, and future predictions. The heat soon shifted to their past performances in the ring. Stevenson mentioned his fights against Jamal Kering and Oscar Valdez, where he received considerable acclaim for his performances after the fight right after. We do fight and I showed the world what I'm really made of what. Are you going to say Stevenson asked challenging Davis to acknowledge his skill and potential? Ain't nobody knocking me off. Ain't nobody that, that shit dead. But that's a solid, that's a that's a solid pick though. Shocker was also criticized for his past successes, but criticized his performance against Edwin de los Santos. When you fought Naka and you fought name someone, you can say you really fought even Edwin de Santos. I criticize every bit of you for those performances. Davis said, implying that Stevenson's approach in those fights was lacking. However, Stevenson threw another jab at Tank. He suggested that if he fought Tank the same way he would fight at peak performance, he would not fare well. If that was Tank in front of me on November 16th, if I fought the same exact fight y'all, would be saying something different. Shocker said confident that he would have dominated in the same situation. For the fight, right? After we do fight and I and I show the word, like what, what, what I'm really made of, what you gonna say? Davis undeterred fired back, questioning Shocker's authority to judge his performance and push him to a fight with him. I don't know who made you like the god, or like to tell me what's going to happen. Davis retorted, emphasizing that he would fight in his own style and his own will regardless of outside opinions. This exchange underscored the tension between the two fighters, each confident in their abilities, and dismissive of the other's critique, not I don't know who like like, I don't know who made you like the god, or like to tell me what's gonna happen, or what like I'm gonna fight how I fight regardless. As the heat progressed, the focus shifted to potential. Future matchups and the skills each fighter would bring to the table, Davis, confident in his abilities, was dismissive of the challenge Stevenson might pose. When asked if he thought Stevenson would be his hardest fight, Davis responded with a definitive hell. No one of the guys, obviously, you got into it on Twitter. He was like, You wanted them six. This year. He's definitely one of for sure. You think that's going to be your hardest fight? Hell no. Davis went on to question Stevenson's boxing expertise. Show me something that he did outrageous. Show me his power, not outrageous his defense. You think he got defense? Davis questioned, suggesting that Stevenson's skills were overrated. He continued to criticize Stevenson's technique, claiming that he lacked proper defense and offensive. Innovation, you never see him slip. No punch, go look at it. You see him back up from a lot of people. Back up, move around, move around. He doesn't have any technique, and his offense is the same thing. Davis argued told me something that he did. SP, show me something that he did outrageous. Show me his power, not outrageous. His what defense? You think he got defense, despite Davis's harsh critique. Stevenson remained unfazed. He acknowledged that Stevenson had the internet excited with his statements. 
particularly about the six or seven more fights he intended to have including a potential bout with Tank. He's definitely one of them for sure Shocker confirmed indicating that a fight with Davis was on his radar. He don't got no technique, and his offense is the same thing. Go look at his fights. The conversation also touched on the supreme confidence both fighters have in their own abilities. Davis expressed his belief that he was unbeatable, stating the only person that could beat me is Devon Davis himself. He dismissed the notion that Stevenson or any other fighter could pose a real threat to him. These guys cannot touch me at all. They all were in the ring with me. They all have been in the ring and I crack both of them. Davis boasted referring to his past sparring sessions with top fighters including Stevenson. Yeah right. You got you got the last one right. That's the only person that could beat me Yvonne Davis. That's the only person them. Underscore underscore. Cannot touch me at all. Stevenson however was equally confident in his own skills and potential. He asserted that he would fight his own way regardless of Davis's opinions or criticisms. I'm going to fight how I fight regardless Stevenson declared maintaining his stance that his unique style and approach would be effective against any opponent including Davis. The conversation concluded with a bold prediction about the future and legacy in the sport shocker expressed his belief that when all the fights were said and done he would emerge as the greatest of his era when it's all said and done the goat when that's. All when he comes out on top, Shocker predicted confidently Tank Davis, Shocker Stevenson, the one that comes out on top, the GOAT, when that's all, when yeah, when me, he anticipated that people would look back on this conversation, and recognize that he had foretold his own greatness. We going to come back to this meeting later on down the line, after all the fights that's being made and, and y'all going to say this dude was the truth, and he told y'all everything before it happened, Shocker asserted suggesting that his confidence and foresight would be vindicated in the future close me we going to come back to this interview later on down the line, after all the fights that's being made, and y'all going to say this dude was the truth, and he told y'all everything now, we don't know about you, but looking at Davis's top performance from his fights, those words are enough to intimidate someone like like Shocker, and yes apparently Shocker, even though expressing massive confidence against Tank is a little intimidated, and a good proof of this is when Shocker saw a video of Tank sparring. The footage which surfaced on social media showed Javent Tank Davis brutally dominating Devin Haney during a 2017 sparring session. We're going to come back to this interview okay. later on down the line, after all the fights is being made, and y'all going to say this dude was the truth, and he told y'all everything. No, no, no. I'm going to touch him up. What's up? Nice. The video quickly went viral, and the reactions from the boxing community were swift and telling shocker. Stevenson was among those who saw the footage and couldn't hide his shock. Taking to social media, Stevenson expressed his amazement at the severity of the punishment Haney endured. Never in my life have I taken punishment like that by any fighter. Good Lord Stevenson posted on X. His reaction showed the brutality of the sparring session and his astonishment at Haney's ordeal. Stevenson's statement carried a weight of surprise, and possibly a hint of apprehension. It was clear that the video left a strong impression on him as he openly admitted never having experienced such a severe beatdown in his training sessions. This admission brought into question whether Stevenson was expressing fear towards Davis, or simply acknowledging the raw power and skill on display in the video. But we can tell there was a little fear in his statements. Dan Davis wasted no time in responding to Stevenson's tweet. His reply was simple, but loaded with implication. You know what's up too. This cryptic message was perceived as a direct warning to Stevenson, suggesting that if they were to face each other in the ring, Stevenson would face a similar fate to what Haney experienced in that sparring session.